Have you ever played or heard of Uber Strike? The name is either very nostalgic to you or you have no idea what I'm talking about. Either way, this video is about that very game. So without wasting any time, let's take a look at the rise and fall of one of the most captivating online games in recent memory. Uber Strike, a game made by Simune, a Chinese company, was an FPS masterpiece that took the gaming community by storm. Originally having the name Paradise Paintball, the game was a massive hit on Facebook, as it was the first real-time 3D multiplayer game launched on Facebook. Players from around the world flocked to its virtual battlegrounds, immersing themselves in intense firefights and epic competitions. The addictive gameplay and diverse maps propelled Uberstrike to unimaginable heights. It became a phenomenon, with millions of users joining the battle, forging friendships and rivalries along the way. I was one of them. I started playing the game around its peak in 2011. Being 10 years old at the time, and this being one of my first first-person shooters, I was captivated by it. I didn't have a PS or an Xbox growing up. I didn't even have a PC, so I would sneak on my mother's work laptop and play some games. Since Facebook was the biggest social media back in the day that all the cool kids used, I spent a lot of time on it. Right now, it's a boomer's cringe fest. At the time, Facebook was kind of like a hub of sorts. You could use it to talk to people, play games, make posts, and a lot of other things. I was personally most interested in the gaming side of Facebook. I think it's quite interesting to look back now and think that Facebook perhaps could have rivaled Steam if they released their own separate game launcher and acquired some big companies. Could you imagine Rockstar being bought by Facebook and having to launch GTA 6 from Facebook? They certainly were able to do that if they wanted to, as their revenue in 2012 was estimated to be 2 billion. In any case, even though the gaming side of Facebook was still primitive by today's standards, I've spent countless days there. I was playing a lot of games like Miscrits, uh, Pokemon Copy, Gangster City and Uber Strike. When I discovered Uber Strike, I fell in love instantly. It was something I've never seen or played before, arena shooter. The fact that you could customize your loadout was insane to me. You had melee, primary, secondary, and even a tertiary. 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 At that time, I've never seen a game that allowed you to carry that many weapons. It seemed overpowered to me. I instantly fell in love with the sniper and was using it primarily. And considering I was playing with a trackpad, yes, a trackpad. I think I was pretty good at it. When it came to map design, Uberstrike had one of the most iconic. I'm sure anyone that has played the game remembers Lost Paradise 2, The Warehouse, Cube Strike, Cuber Space, and Temple of Raven, just to name a few. Each one of those maps was unique and offered a lot of different approaches to combat, unlike some FPS's nowadays that only use the three lanes approach. Lost Paradise 2, Cuber Strike, and Cuber Space were designed more in favor for sniping thus making them my favorites. Maps like the Warehouse and Temple of Raven were more catered towards mid-range weapons, but if you were good enough with snipers, you could still use them there. It was endless fun, the maps were replayable, eliminations were rewarding, and the gameplay loop was overall incredibly addicting. The announcer made kill sprees super satisfying and goofy at the same time. It was a perfect early 2000s game feel. It was a golden age for the game and its dedicated community. But as the saying goes, what goes up must come down, and unfortunately the fall of Uberstrike was inevitable. The game peaked in 2011 with over 30 million players, but sadly it would only go down from there. Changes in the gaming landscape, the emergence of new and more advanced titles, and the failure to adapt to shifting player demands all contributed to its demise. Unable to keep up with technological advancements and lacking fresh content, Uberstrike's popularity gradually waned. Player number dwindled, the once vibrant community dispersed, seeking new experiences elsewhere. Arena shooters were starting to become a thing of the past, as Call of Duty was starting to dominate the scene, 
and big titles like Skyrim and GTA V came out. This small studio couldn't compete with these AAA studios that had hundreds of employees. As a last resort of sorts, the game transitioned to Steam in 2015, a digital storefront where users could purchase and play games. But I'm sure all of you already know what Steam is. The game wouldn't find great success on Steam, however, as it peaked with 1,267 players, a far cry from its 2011 30 million. But just a few months after release, the player count would flatline, having only 100-ish players. The developers have decided it was time to put a nail in the coffin, and in 2016 they announced that they will be closing the servers and will continue to work on other games. As of June 13th, 2016, UberStrike servers were shut down, leaving behind the legacy that many still remember fondly. The developers went on to develop mobile games like Deadheads and Ultra Hunt, but both games were ultimately shut down, as was the studio. Deadheads was an online FPS uh, for Android and iOS. It had the same announcer as Uber Strike, and it was an arena shooter, but also a zombie survival. But zombies were aliens? Yeah, it was kind of weird, and most people were unhappy with it and just wanted Uber Strike back. Ultra Hunt was supposed to be a battle royale for Android and iOS but it was closed in the pre-alpha stage. Not a lot is known about that game other than that. Ludovic made the wrong decision trying to appeal to the mobile phone gaming market, but you can see why he thought it would be a good idea. At the time, smartphones were a brand new thing and a new market to explore. He isn't wrong for thinking that a lot of PC games would transition to phone, it's easy to say thinking PC players would all transition to mobile is stupid now, but back then it seemed like a real possibility. He makes some predictions while holding the presentation and looking at the gaming companies now, he was right on a lot of his predictions. Uh, we also believe like immersive con console-like uh, games are going to rapidly uh, grow on mobile. Uh, we also believe, uh, being here in Asia, that uh, new leaders in the gaming industry uh, will emerge from uh, within Asia, particularly China. Uh, we also developing and operating games is, not, is going to also be about empowering your community. Also, I'm so sorry, but I have to show this video of Ludovic presenting Uber Strike, and the video he chose is a frag movie someone made in like 2010. It makes me laugh every time. Uberstrike lives on in the memories of those who embraced its challenges and formed lasting connections with its virtual world. So, we bid farewell to Uberstrike, a game that captured the hearts of so many. Thank you for joining me on this nostalgia trip and reminiscing about the good old days where things were a lot more simple. Uberstrike as a game might be gone, but the memories and connections we've made over the years will stay with us forever.